is a uh, Super Bowl MVP and an MVP of the league and the uh, starting quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, who just happens to be perhaps the biggest Game of Thrones fans around. Um, so he is Aaron Rodgers joining me now on the podcast to talk about the uh, season three finale, the stirring finale of Game of Thrones. How are you, Aaron? I'm doing good, buddy. Where do you stand on this? Did you did you did you like the finale? Did you think the finale was a little bit of anticlimactic action after the red wedding in the previous episode? Where do you stand on this, Aaron? I, well, I think that's kind of how they did last year. There was uh, the second last episode was uh, most of the action, and then the last episode set up what was going to happen in the next season. So. I wasn't too surprised by it. I love the ending because I'm a huge Khaleesi fan. Who is not? Who with who red mean, blood? Who, not be? who uh, with I red blood? Right. Who with I red blood? I haven't read any of the books, so I'm hoping that she really rises to power here and just dominates. I was a huge King of the North fan, though, so the red wedding was really difficult to watch for me and definitely caught me off guard. Uh, it'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean... First of all, let's hit the Khaleesi, because who, who, whoever has red blood coursing through their veins, how are you not a fan of the mother <laughs> of dragons and everything that she stands for? She's incredible. <laughs> I mean, uh, beautiful. Got the dragons. She's got the dragons. Can speak a bunch of languages. When she, when she was at the, uh, where she picked up the, uh, the Unsullied, yes. uh, when that guy was just absolutely dogging her and calling her all those names, and then she busted out, the language at the end that was that was amazing. Yeah, you knew you knew he was finished when that happened. He yeah, was he was, was totally really done. Now, but Rob Stark. Now, the issue with Rob is he seems like he's got you know he's got a lot of he had a, or he had a, it's difficult for me to talk about him in the past tense. Had a lot of Ned in him, a lot of his dad in him, where honor took a certain a perch in his life where he needed to be more red blooded. And was just real, a real dumbass in the last few weeks of the show, and paid a price for it. Where, where do you stand on that? Well, I was a big Ned Stark fan, and they both got killed trying to do the right thing. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this show glorifies the Lannister, Lannisters, to, yep. you know, a bit, and they're the most ruthless. You know, killers out there. Um, that's why I'm hoping that Khaleesi sails across the sea and just wipes them all out. <laughs> Joffrey first, yes. Tywin second, and uh, maybe let uh, let the little guy live. Yeah, let Tyrion like live. I mean, Tywin to me has become he. You know, I, I love Khaleesi as I, I, I've obviously you know I've pledged allegiance to her. I would I would fight battles for her. Okay. Did you get a little worried with her walking into the crowd like that? Well, though? no. I think she was fine. Everyone, they were chanting a name, and I thought that you know that, that there's no way they're going to end the season with her being off. There was just no way. I would, I would have. But for a second, though, right? I mean, Doron was a little bit. He was a little concerned. I was kind of with him on that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not digging this new guy. This new Clay Matthews look. Like <laughs> I'm not digging him too much. I mean, she she deserves to be with Joran. Now, but to me, I'm I'm thinking that there's going to be a part in time where she might throw her old guard overboard and go be- with the new guy. Yeah, because she's into him. I think she's into him a little bit. Yeah, I think so too. And he's way into her. <laughs> I mean, chopped I mean, off I his I buddy's heads. Him, but yeah, I think she should. I, I think she should. Uh, she should maybe go with the uh, the leader of of the Unsullied. I mean, those guys are. Who's going to beat those guys? Nobody. They, they, well, let's play, let's put it this way: they can take a punch. Yeah, those guys, they can certainly take a punch. You get a nipple cut off. Yes, they can. If they're not, if they're not looking out, you got to have your head on a swivel when you're when you're the unsullied. So you were talking about Taiwan. Yes, I, I he's think almost likable, a little bit. He's my favorite he's character. Become more likable. Agree or disagree? I, I love every word that comes out of his mouth. What the, in in the season? The, my favorite scene in the season finale was when he called the little council. Yeah. And Joffrey is sadistically gleeful over the news that Rob Stark and the Starks have been wiped out. And he says he's going to serve Rob's head on a plate to his sister, who's now Tyrion's new wife, because Tywin forced them to marry. And all sorts of holy heck broke loose at that table. And then Tywin basically says to his 
I, I, is he is he really his grandson? Even though his two of his kids made him, it's just really crazy. And he's the king. And he says, if you've got to say I am the king, then you are no king at all. And he basically shut it down and showed his allegiance to the rest of his family. That was so great. I love that guy. He might be my new favorite character. Everything he says and does is so twisted and so well written and so well acted. I love it. That's what I love about him. Yes, he is. He's becoming a little more likable. Definitely. You like him. What's going to happen now with Jamie, one armed Jamie coming back and his uh, <laughs> sister and lover? What'd you make of that scene? Set to marry a, a guy who, uh, who doesn't like women. What do you think about that look that he gave her? Did, did you think that was creepy or because it it i don't know what that look that he gave her when he came back into that room what'd you make of that aaron uh i don't know i i feel like there's some real connection between him and his uh and the big blonde i think so too right brianne i'm kind of hoping i kind of you kind of start to like jamie this season as well isn't that incredible He, he somehow inside there he has a little bit of a heart and he's been hiding it because of what he was forced to do, just like every other Lannister dead has been forced to do. He is. It, it's amazing how quickly these characters that you have hated for so long become likable. And he's he's the leader of that pack from season three. Okay, well let's let's talk about Jon Snow. Okay, or or is his or is his girlfriend says Jon Snow. Snow. Jon Snow. What is he doing <laughs> running away? <laughs> Oh, you didn't like that? What, what's he doing running away from the from the girl? That one, I think that was just they could have taken. They could have definitely taken the bearded, the bearded wilding leader. I mean, without a doubt, they could have taken her. And 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 I th- I was surprised that he did just bolt out. And I think he knocked her away. She was about to start shooting arrows to protect him. He knocked her out of the way, and then rode off without her. I was surprised by that too, Aaron. I was, I was doubly surprised that she she ended up shooting him three times though. I'll tell you that much. Well, I mean, isn't the, the, the uh, there's like the imagery that she's like Cupid shooting him with arrows. I didn't get that imagery. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Do you think though they were strategically placed to let him live, but to still hit him? To, I, I'm to looking out for point. Aaron. Here's what I'm thinking. Because you're, I haven't read the books either, and I purposely have not read the books. Because I, I like the way they're telling the story on television, and I like being in a, a, on that too. I'm thinking, Jon Snow is gonna, he's he's gonna be, he's gonna rule Westeros. That's Ooh. who I'm pegging on it, and not the Khaleesi, even though I'm rooting for her too. What do you think? Yeah. I, I like I like Jon Snow a lot. I'm I'm definitely pulling for him. I don't understand what's going on with uh, with the kid from uh, Love Actually and uh, <laughs> and the and the Wog and the young Stark Wog. What are they going to accomplish going north of the Wall? I don't know. It just strikes me as another Stark just banging his head against the wall, and he's going to have it handed to him. I don't know because I guess they're going to they they finally have brought the White Walkers in to Westeros. You know where. Where uh, Baratheon and the uh, the prince with the red princess, what's he called? What's Melisandre. Yeah, but yeah, where they're they're going to have to start. I think that they're the ones who are going to have to deal with the White Walkers on the other side of the wall first. That I don't understand either. I'm just wondering who the the uh, the red uh, temptress is going to is going to go after next. Hmm. Well, I like the uh, the hand of the king, who I guess has no hand. Uh, Davos, right? Isn't that who? Isn't that what he is? I like. I'm I'm rooting for him too. Where you know where he uh, he's well, he freed Gendry to get he's... some to get some action from the from the red. <laughs> 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 yes, I'm rooting for that too. I'm rooting yeah. for that too. Beware the leeches. So you you want Joffrey out? I think we all do. I, yeah. I can't believe he survived season three. That's a disappointment. But I have a feeling season four is going to begin with him meeting his maker. I've got that Ooh. sense. I don't know what happened. One one character that was lost the last four or five episodes. What happened to uh, Tyrion's bodyguard? That's true, Bronn. What well, did happen busy, to him? Is uh, he running around? I uh, guess he doing some promiscuous things, <laughs> like which most, he enjoys doing, like most people do. And Littlefinger, he's disappeared too. The guy from The yeah. Wire, who played the uh, the the mayor from The Wire, 
he's he's disappeared also. What I'm curious is he's in love with Lady Stark, so I wonder if he's going to try to avenge that her death be, at some point. That cannot be good for him. Or he just might uh, pick another Lady Stark. Where did you watch the Red Wedding? Where do you watch your shows? From your uh, from your, you're in your house. You get a do you watch with buddies. What do you do? Yeah, from my house. I I had uh, a couple events, uh, both both Sundays. So I had to Tebow them. But I, I took a lot of a lot of heat yes, you last did. week, um, talking to my followers about King of the North getting killed. But I I tried to tell them twenty four hour rule. You have twenty four hours if you're a legit fan to watch the episode. I don't care if you're behind. And until then, it's all you know. It's all fair game. Is that your is that your rule for any television show? I just read about it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I didn't make it up. No, I'm with you. I'm with you too. I'm with you too. And you, and and you know, I I've been watching on on TiVo also, but that night I got to watch it that night. There's no question about it. Yeah, I so, got home late that uh, the the second last episode and watched it. Watched so you, it you like most people were did were you able to go right to sleep after that? Because I I, I, had, I I had definitely had Game of Thrones dreams. Yeah, no doubt. It, it took... was just me and Khaleesi. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like most of us. That's like most of us. So, so she is your favorite character, and then and then you go where? Give me your top five, Aaron. Before I let you go here, no, no order. I got it. I got to go with uh, Jon Snow, Tyrion, Joran. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Khaleesi. She's she's in there. Yeah. And it was the the redheaded girl that Snow was with. Yeah, she, she definitely fell off, and so I, I'm I'm probably gonna have to put uh, Tywin Lannister. Up yeah, there. he's so good. Those scenes are great. Cersei, you know, she's got to be five A. You know, the queen, she's so, and then she became likable in that scene where she's talking about how Joffrey as a kid was mm -hmm. was adorable, and then I don't know what happened to him. Let's just put it this way: um, I guess maybe the fact that you know. There's some incestual blood running through his veins. I mean, this show is unlike anything else I've ever seen, Aaron. There's nothing that comes close to it. Right? I don't know what I'm going to do now. I mean, Newsroom is starting up here pretty soon. Okay. What are we going to do? When When is the next season? Nine months. How long do we have to wait? Nine months. Nine months? Nine months. Wow. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I, I tweeted out that it's, it's, it, sounds like, it feels like the day after the Super Bowl. Aaron, you know, like it, it, the that that uh, it's too long of a wait for the next time. Now you might have a different take since you know you actually, you know, uh, work out in the off season left and right. But it just seems a different. It's 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 a large void that you're going to fill by the newsroom. That's that's your next one on HBO. I, I am a big fan of that show. Yes. What about True Blood? You do True Blood? Mm, no, I've I've never got into that. Yeah, neither have I. Dexter starting back up. Yeah. Dexter. Uh, yeah. Are you a Homeland guy? I haven't got into that either. Okay. All right. Well, you got the newsroom to to take you home there. In Jeopardy. Oh, really? Yep. See, you you cow bears. That's you know that's that's next level stuff right there. I'm just getting ready to take on Cheech in Celebrity Jeopardy one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that can be arranged, Aaron. Um, last question. My my uh, my colleague Chris Brockman, who's here, has uh, put out a blog where he's com he's. For Game of Thrones, you have uh, Chris. You have you have I took about, matched up characters yeah, with took actual about NFL 30 figures. Thirty characters and matched them up with their NFL counterparts. Who was Tywin, for instance? So Tywin here. Lannister, for instance, would be Bill Belichick. Who's Belichick? Hold on a minute. Would you agree? Would you agree with that, Aaron? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, now, but you you could not find one for Aaron. You, well, you were, that Aaron, you were the one that I was struggling with the most, and you mentioned Braun earlier, and so I matched you up with Braun. I, what? Yeah, see, that, that, that's the most reaction I got. See, I, I know you said you liked the King of the North. People were th saying that for you. Who was Rob Stark? I went with Tom Brady with Rob oh, Stark because his wife, Talisa, matched up well with Giselle. Aaron, I mean, if, Aaron, if you were married to Giselle, then maybe Just you'd... give me Joron. Joron? Yep. There, there you go. That's who, that's who, would you, that's who you would that's choose? Khaleesi. I mean, what no, else? Because you get yeah. Khaleesi. <laughs> 
Well, I said I said that Russell Wilson was the mother of dragons, which would make Jorah what? Pete uh, Carroll. I'm trying to give you some credibility with Aaron here, and you're just you're just shooting Sorry. yourself in the foot left Sorry. and right. Yeah, so you, this is getting bad. I'll make <laughs> I'll make the change, Aaron. I'll make the change. Just oh, for you. Aaron, I really appreciate the time. Thanks for calling in and having some fun here. And it is it's nine long months. Uh, I uh, you know I don't know what I'm going to do either, but. Um, you know, maybe you'll just watch it again because it's one of those things where you watch it once and then you watch it a second time and you pick up stuff that, you know, it's so dense, it's very difficult to pick up the first time. Yeah, I'm okay with watching the first three seasons again. There you go. Aaron, I appreciate the time, man. Thanks, guys. You got it. That's Aaron Rodgers, Joron. You got that straight, Chris? I got it. Okay. Up.